Real estate guru Tariq El Moussa first stepped onto the scene in 2013 with HGTV's Flip or Flop, a series he co-stars on with his now ex-wife Christina Anstead. Considering he always seems to be getting into some type of mess with his fans or his ex, Tariq El Moussa has made some controversial decisions. About six months before El Moussa and Anstead filed for divorce in January 2017, the two were involved in an explosive domestic incident. People report that it all started when El Moussa allegedly stormed out of the family's Orange County home, taking a gun with him into a nearby state park. It wasn't clear at the time what made him leave with a weapon without saying anything, but a family friend confirmed seeing him remove a gun from a safe in his bedroom. The concerned pal called Anstead to warn her about El Moussa's behavior, spurring her to rush home. A neighbor described Anstead as shaking and crying upon arrival and claimed to witness El Moussa running out of the house. After police helicopters located him on a hiking trail, he complied when asked to drop his weapon. El Moussa has consistently denied that he'd had any plans to take his own life, however, telling Dr. Oz in 2018, I can legally carry a firearm. I live in the canyons where there's wildlife and bobcats and mountain lions. And I literally went on a hike. El Moussa called the incident a huge misunderstanding on her part. Even if that's true, his seemingly odd behavior arguably led to wasted resources and caused needless upset. When El Moussa took a gun on that impromptu solo hike in May 2016, he clearly ended up scaring his then wife. And it's fair to assume that she wasn't eager to relive that moment. Sadly, Anstead was forced to revisit it when he posted a since deleted photo making light of the whole gun situation. TMZ reports that the snap showed El Moussa at a bar in Arizona standing under a sign that read, No guns, weapons of any type. The real estate star added a caption beneath the sign writing, Or helicopters. Making matters even worse, he tagged Anstead in the pic and included a middle finger emoji. According to Cosmopolitan, Anstead seemingly responded to El Moussa's post the next day with a quote about having no time for bull when you're building an empire. In the caption, she added, True that, only surround yourself with the best. A source close to El Moussa told TMZ the post was meant as a joke and the middle finger was directed at the situation as opposed to Anstead. But the Christina on the coast star didn't get his humor, with an insider claiming the original post was all about jealousy. Discussing her success outside of Flip or Flop, TMZ reported, Although they still shoot the show together, Christina's doing more solo speaking engagements. Whatever the reason, El Moussa's so-called joke didn't exactly land. El Moussa is no stranger to making mistakes, even at the expense of his personal life. A perfect example is when he admitted in 2018 to taking steroids and testosterone injections while recovering from testicular and thyroid cancers. The reality star claimed that an anti-aging specialist had convinced him to take the harmful combination, despite the fact that his testosterone levels were normal, according to Page Six, and he stuck with it even as his life began to crumble. On the Dr. Drew podcast, he admitted, I would find myself just sitting alone and just being depressed. It's all because of the that was being pumped into my body that just turned me into someone that wasn't me. In 2020 hindsight, I think, how in the hell did I film a show, start a company? How did I do all these things? I was so spun out from all the they gave me. Discussing the real reasons behind his divorce, El Moussa told Page Six, there's a lot of contributing factors to the divorce. Life is moving so fast. We bought a house, remodeling the house. My hormonal levels were off and I wasn't feeling really well a lot of the time and I wasn't being the best person I could have been. The medication when you're going through that makes you act a way that is not you. It cost me so much. Thankfully, El Moussa's doing much better now. Out of all of El Moussa's controversial decisions, his spoiling a special aspect of Anstead's third pregnancy is right up there at the top. The awkward moment went down in April 2019, just one month after Christina announced she and her husband and Anstead were expecting a baby. El Moussa was very congratulatory when discussing the news with TMZ, but things took a turn when he decided to reveal an important detail about the impending birth, telling the outlet, she's having a son. The Ansteads seemed just as confused by the word vomit, with a rep telling Us Weekly, while Christina and Ant wish they could have shared the news themselves, they are very excited to welcome a baby boy in the fall. Although El Moussa said the slip was accidental, it was hard not to wonder if he spilled the beans intentionally. Some fans shared the suspicion, with one person on Twitter writing, but obviously that is not his news to share. Another person commented, accidentally, on purpose. Of course, the most important thing here is the health and happiness of Christina's baby boy, Hudson. 
Unfortunately, it's not uncommon for celebrities to be caught endorsing questionable products, whether knowingly or unknowingly. El Moussa found himself in this exact situation in October 2019 when he and his ex-wife were mentioned in a complaint filed to the Federal Trade Commission about so-called phony real estate classes. The drama is a bit difficult to dissect, but here's what went down. Utah-based Zurich LLC reportedly held free real estate events promoted by Anstead and El Moussa, which promised customers would learn the basics of the business. But when guests arrived, they were allegedly encouraged to sign up for a three-day class that cost $1,997, according to the Orange County Register. Making matters shadier, once in the class, participants were allegedly pressured to, quote, apply for new credit cards and increase the credit limits on existing cards to pay for additional training that cost more than $41,000. Yikes! This isn't the first time El Moussa and Anstead have been tied to shady real estate classes either. The ex's Success Path Education program received criticism in 2016 when a customer who attended the seminar told Good Morning America, If you think you're getting Tarek and Christina, you're not going to get them. You're going to get some sales pitch the entire time. Anstead defended herself and El Moussa to the outlet, arguing, I stand by our product. When El Moussa started dating reality star Heather Ray Young in July 2019, many fans were happy he had found love again. But everyone's got their opinions, and some supporters felt he was moving too fast, especially since he was already considering taking a big step months later. He told Us Weekly that November, We've definitely talked about a proposal, but we're just kind of rolling with things right now. We're living life and we're going to Europe together in a few weeks. We're going to go to Amsterdam for four days and then Paris for four days. The flip or flop mogul gave Young a pricey gift for her birthday that September, a $250,000 Ferrari. Although the present was pretty extravagant, it sounds like El Moussa was just being romantic. He recalled to Us Weekly, well, on our first date, I asked her, what was your dream car your entire life? She's like, well, every girl's dream car is a white Ferrari, so I thought it would be fitting to get her a white Ferrari for her birthday. Either way, it seems many fans thought the gesture was too much. In reference to the arrival of his ex-wife's new baby in September 2019, one fan tweeted, is he trying to compete with a baby? Another user wrote, wow, flipping houses must be lucrative. Of course, who's to say how El Moussa should spend his money? To each their own, right? There's a lot to admire about El Moussa's girlfriend. Not only is she killing it in the real estate game and a star of Selling Sunset, but she seems to genuinely care about El Moussa's two young kids. The only problem? Fans think Young looks a heck of a lot like El Moussa's ex-wife. One fan tweeted, Come on, Tarek, can't you find a girl who doesn't look like Christina? Someone else wrote, OMG, can she look any more like Christina? It's not hard to see a resemblance between Anstead and Young. Is it possible El Moussa sought out the reality star for that reason? Maybe. It could also mean nothing more than El Moussa possibly having a type. What matters most is their happiness, which seems on point these days. He told Hollywood Life in November 2019, I'm in this new relationship with Heather, and it's turned out to be way better than I thought it would be, and it gets better by the day. We just have so much fun. Introducing a new partner to an ex can be awkward, especially when you spring the meeting on both parties. But that's exactly what El Moussa did when he set up an impromptu meeting between Young and Anstead. During an interview with Strahan, Sarah and Kiki, El Moussa spilled the details on how the get-together happened. I was like, oh, I'm coming over to see the kids. By the way, my girlfriend's coming. See you in five. <laughs> Not only was Anstead in the dark about the crossing of paths, but apparently Young was too. El Moussa simply announced to his girlfriend that they were about to head over to see his ex-wife and her kids. She's like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, no, we're going right now. She's like, like, right now, right now? I'm like, yeah, right now, right now. So that's how they met. Luckily, it didn't all blow up in El Moussa's face. According to him, they got along very well, particularly because, in his words, both women love that healthy hippie food and they drink the weird juice. He also told Hollywood Life, I didn't really know what to expect, so we just kind of did it and it all worked out okay. I was happy with it. El Moussa and Young are on the fast track to marriage, so it wasn't surprising when Young's co-star on Netflix's Selling Sunset, Maya Vanda, mentioned during a September 2019 interview with Us Weekly that the lovebirds had shacked up after two months of dating. She claimed, Their relationship is going very well. They just moved in together. They're very happy. She loves being in a relationship. 
Four months after Vanda's revelation, however, Us Weekly published a spread featuring El Musa and Young's new digs in West Hollywood, California. The article claimed the pair had moved in together six months after making it official, which left fans confused about this relationship timeline. Either way, some fans are worried El Musa is moving too fast. In response to an article teasing the couple's plans to shack up together, one person tweeted, He looks so happy, but way too soon. At the end of the day, these two are more than welcome to do whatever makes them happy. El Musa gushed to Us Weekly, I'm excited about this relationship with her. I'm excited about raising our kids together. I'm excited about getting married one day. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.